Hello! In this video, we will see a few basics about Storyboard. We'll go ahead and create a new Xcode project. I'll name it as um, Storyboard Tucho. I'll just go next and save it on my desktop. So immediately when we create a project, we can see main dot storyboard. Yes, this is where we are going to design each and everything that we display. So on clicking on this, you can see the windows that are getting displayed. So this is the window which shows all the controls that we add inside the view. And this is the place where we edit. So this window can be hidden or opened using the small tab here. So when you open this, you can see by default a view controller is added and a view is added inside that. So this is where you will go ahead and add any objects for that matter, be it a label or a text field or a button or anything. So where do we get this buttons, labels, text field is from this place. So in this we have four options. So we'll be working mostly with this object library which contains all the elements that we need. We can either scroll like this and select label or we can directly search for one thing here and click drag and drop here. So this is how we place an object. And you can also see this arrow mark. So this arrow mark indicates which will be the first screen that will get loaded. So to whichever view it points, only that view will be loaded initially. So that is the purpose of this arrow mark. So coming to label. So I can change the text of the label here. My text. I'll just give it like this. So immediately you see by default whatever text I give for the label the same will be taken as the name of the label. However, if we want some custom name for the label we can edit it here. And say custom label name and you can give it whatever you want. So this is how we change the name for the label. And now for any label or text field or anything, any attributes, say be it font, size, color, background, all that can be changed in the attributes inspector. And that is the fourth option in this pane. So here you see text attributed or plain and you can change the text. You can also change the color. I change it to say orange here it goes and we can also change the font I can increase it to how much ever I want and I can also change the style say bold and I can do I can align and I can do all such things we do with font usually so to increase the size I can do it in two ways one is by clicking and dragging like this. The other way would be to click on the last but before option here. And we are, here we have an option called width. Say I set it to 500 and you can see it has got enlarged. Okay. So what if in case I want to change the background of this. I should again come back to this attributes inspector. And search for the background option so here we see background option so there are various colors from which we can choose and there and there are various methods too so we'll see what those are so colors are defined here and other gray colors are defined here but what if we are not satisfied with these colors we can go to other and we can choose colors from a set of crayons here. But still, we still have so many other options. We can choose from here. Or we can go here and choose predefined colors like this. Or we can go here and set the RGB values. We can set the hexadecimal code. 
or we can go here and choose whatever you want and set accordingly and this and we also have an option here like opacity we can choose how much opaque the background should be so you can see the color changes here i say choose so i see the height is very less i'll go to this and increase the height to say 50 so this is all good and I'll just close this pane so that I'll have so much work area. So here I go. And I'll also close this. Here you can see something displayed as iPhone 8. When you click on that, you can see various other devices that are available. So this is nothing but you can have a preview of how your view would look on different sized devices. So I, say I select this iPhone 4S. So this is how my text would look on iphone for us i select an ipad ipad pro 12.9 and this is how my text would get displayed and i can also choose to rotate the device and see how it looks in landscape or portrait mode if you want to again open the utilities pane you just have to click on this and so this is the basics of storyboard do comment and do let us know if you want any topic to be covered in depth do not forget to subscribe like the video thank you